So can you tell us a little bit about your case study? Yeah, so our case study was uh, for coffee bean and tea leaf um, in some of their Southern California restaurants. Um, essentially, they had contracted, or the IT partner had contracted um, out to bring in uh, copper loops and T1s, um, and that was supposed to be their redundant play for their uh, in-house Wi-Fi and their POS systems. And they were opening up new stores, and they ran into issues because uh, it was new construction, and so it wasn't an on-net building. And so they were having to contemplate delaying um, opening up stores, which means lost revenue on projections for the year um, and things of that nature. So the IT partner called us um, and basically said, hey, I've got a lot of money running on this. Essentially, there's other services that IT partners get to deliver once the connectivity is delivered. And said, I need you guys to bring in redundant wireless circuits to 30 locations and you have 20 days to do it. And they said, no contract. If you guys can do it, then you guys will get the contract. Being nimble and wanting to be aggressive, we said, let's do it. And so we went out there and basically ran line of sight um, with our network and having multiple towers. We have about 220 towers throughout Southern California um, that all route to different fiber paths. We can truly bring in redundant wireless circuits. They go through different towers and then offload on a different fiber pass. Um, so we brought that in to support their POS systems and then their public Wi-Fi. Um, and got the whole project done in, I believe it was 14 days. Uh, not business days, 14 total days. So, uh, with that, their stores were able to open on time. Uh, the big thing for the IT provider, which we try to understand and enable our team to understand, connectivity plays a small part into it. Uh, we play a good residual, but it really enables them to then go in and sell the rest of the services, whether it's bringing in a hosted voice provider, doing the cabling, doing the Wi-Fi, uh, Office 365, whatever they're selling um, on top of the connectivity. So um, what ended up happening is they did temporary. They were like, all right, cool, we'll continue to wait for um, the copper loops to get delivered. And then it wasn't a huge storm, but it was marketed as the Bobo Genesis of Southern California, which was about a year and a half ago. Um, and everyone thought that weather affects fixed wireless. If it's engineered correctly, it doesn't. Uh, they had no outages at any of the stores that uh, we were doing, including their roasting and distribution center on Camarillo, um, but our irrigation system in California kind of sucks, so they got flooded and they had a lot of copper outages in some of their areas and realized that we could service them as an enterprise grade solution and then ended up opting into the contract and we've been growing that contract ever since, enabling that IT partner to continue to sell uh, layered in services.